3. Starting from propanoic acid, the following reactions were carried out. So, to propanoic acid, SOCl2, thionyl chloride was added, compound X was obtained, ammonia was added, compound Y was obtained, bromine in KOH gives compound Z. Question is, what is the compound Z? Let's write the reaction. First, propanoic acid, meaning we have three carbons in total and we have to write in an acid group, C double bond O, OH. This is propanoic acid. On reaction with SOCl2, OH is replaced by Cl to give you compound CH3, CH2, C double bond O, Cl. This compound can be called as propanoyl chloride. It's an acid chloride. On reaction, so this is X. Further reaction with ammonia. Instead of Cl, we get NH2 now. HCl being the byproduct. Here the byproducts were SO2 and HCl. So the compound obtained now is CH3, CH2, C double bond O, NH2. This compound is an amide. Its name is propenamide. This is compound Y. Further reaction with bromine and KOH. This reagent suggests to us that it is Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction. The last reaction here is Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction. Wherein we start with an amide but we get an amine with one carbon less. Therefore, we have here three carbons. We la land up with two carbon amine. CH3, CH2, NH2. This compound can be called as ethylamine or ethanamine. So, this is our final product. Once again in the reaction, we are starting with propanoic acid. On reaction with SOCl2, SO2 and HCl is lost. This group is lost. Propanoyl chloride is obtained. On reaction with ammonia, HCl is lost. To give us propanamide, amide on reaction with bromine and KOH, degradation occurs and it becomes an amine with one carbon less. So, propanamide becomes ethanamine or ethylamine. So, the compound Z is ethylamine.